from NBA superstar to possibly a WNBA owner. Dwayne Wade is a three-time NBA champion with the Miami Heat. He is a finals MVP, 13 times he was a all-star, and uh, a whole host of other accolades. Um, Top 75 player, lots of stuff that you can say about Dwayne Wade. Uh, In 2019, after 16 seasons in the NBA, he decided to retire and hang up his gym shoes and instead get into the world of sports investing. And boy, has he been very, very busy. He has purchased a stake in the NBA's Utah Jazz, also in the MLS team Real Salt Lake, which is also in Utah. And now it seems like he is toying with the idea of buying a stake in the WNBA Chicago Sky franchise. On Tuesday, June 13th, Dwayne Wade returned to his hometown of Chicago to attend the Chicago Sky's practice. And according to Chicago Sun-Times reporter Annie Costable, uh, D. Wade spent most of his afternoon talking directly with Chicago Sky principal owner Michael Alter. Interesting. Um, Though, uh, when um, Michael Alter was asked about the possibility of Dwayne Wade uh, investing in the team, Alter, of course, said no comment. Dwayne Wade, while he spent most of the time talking with uh, Sky owner Michael Alter, he also did briefly talk with the Chicago Sky team um, before their practice, and he also took a picture with the team after practice. Uh, Dwayne Wade left the practice facility saying it was a good day. And one thing that's really interesting about Dwayne Wade and his relationship with the Chicago Sky is that his cousin is actually the head coach and general manager for the Sky, James Wade. Uh, so D. Wade, it's possible that he could have been visiting his cousin, um, but the fact that he spent most of the time talking to Sky owner, Michael Alter, it kind of makes it seem like they were talking about investment and not um, just him visiting his uh, relative, uh, because I'm pretty sure Michael Alter does not attend all Sky practices. Um, And so it's very suspicious that Michael Alter was at the Sky practice while Dwayne Wade was visiting his cousin. Um, So yeah, we'll see what kind of happens from there. But uh, one one thing is is for sure, if uh, Dwayne Wade decides to invest in the the WNBA um, and specifically to the Chicago Sky, Uh, the team would really welcome it. Uh, So while James Wade, the head coach of the Chicago Sky, had no comment specifically on Dwayne Wade's status as an investor, he did say it would mean a lot if his cousin came on board and invested with the Chicago Sky. Also, uh, Sky guard Dana Evans said he wants to see the game grow. That means a lot to us. We need people like him, and we need more NBA players to expand the WNBA. And he talked a lot about that. It was pretty encouraging. So yeah, that's what she said after D Wade uh, visited the team. Uh, So yeah, it's, that's kind of the scoop for right now. Um, He visited, there's rumors um, and sources that are saying that he is seriously interested in investing in the team. Um, So yeah, we may or may not see a announcement in the couple, in the next couple of weeks. Uh, saying that D. Wade is officially a part owner of the Chicago Sky. Time will really, really tell on this case. Um, all right, guys, so that's generally the facts uh, of of, uh, of what has happened so far. Um, he has visited uh, the Chicago Sky practice. He did spend most of the time talking with Sky uh, principal owner, Michael Alter. Um, and, you know, uh, Sky coach James Wade had something to say about, about it. Also, uh, Dana Evans has something to say. They both uh, seem like they would be very happy if uh, Dwayne Wade decided to invest in the Chicago Sky. All right, so those are the facts. Now, let me give my opinion a little bit. So I think it's pretty much a, a guarantee uh, that Dwayne Wade comes in as a owner for the Chicago Sky. It makes a lot of sense, right? Um, Dwayne Wade is from Chicago. You know, this could be his investment in his hometown team. So yes, Dwayne Wade is currently invested in two uh, Utah teams, but there is no uh, WNBA team in Utah. So uh, if Dwayne Wade wants to invest in the WNBA, it makes sense that he chooses his hometown of Chicago. 
Also, Dwayne Wade has been a huge advocate for the WNBA for a very, very long time. So it makes sense that he would want to invest in the team. Um, also, he has family associated with the team. It seems like uh, James Wade is in no way uh, leaving the Chicago Sky. So Dwayne Wade investing in that team, it makes sense. You know, he has a relative layer. He has some sort of insight knowledge in terms of like the happenings of the Chicago Sky. And so, you know, it makes sense from that point also. Um, and from an investment standpoint, the WNBA is growing. And so investing in the WNBA uh, is not a bad decision at all. So we all know that, you know, the WNBA uh, is still not um, a very profitable league right now, but every year it grows and grows and grows. It grows in popularity. It grows in uh, TV viewership. It grows in attendance. It grows in um, apparel. Uh, Dwayne Wade deciding to invest in the WNBA right now makes a lot of sense because he will see a return on investment. At least that's my opinion, at least. Um, the WNBA is growing a lot and it makes sense for investors to get in now um, because, you know, they'll be able to see a return on their investment sooner than they would have if they invested like, you know, 10, 20 years ago. Um, so yeah, to me, it's a done deal. We will see what happens. You know, we'll, we'll have to wait till the ink dries on, on uh, you know, uh, the, the ownership agreement. Um, but that's, that's my thoughts. And just as a WNBA fan, as a Chicago Sky fan in particular, um, this additional investment is huge for our team. Uh, to continue to help us level up our product. So right now the Chicago Sky practices at a public rec center. Um, and, you know, getting additional investors on board is going to allow the team the opportunity to level up that situation and eventually get into a better practice facility. It just doesn't feel right for a um, professional team to be playing at a public rec center. Like, yes, you know, um, they have a pretty decent situation. And yes, the, you know, the, the court is, uh, has been um, redesigned to kind of look like uh, look like it was made for the Chicago Sky. And, and yes, they've, you know, um, I'm pretty sure they're, they're treated well at the rec center. But like, it's nothing like having your own space or a semi, your own space, a, a place where you can have um, locker rooms and leave your stuff there and not and not worry about having to take stuff home with you every single day. Um, I'm not saying that the Chicago Sky will go out there and use new investors to, to buy their own facility, but even seeing if they can have some sort of um, private-ish uh, deal in terms of a practice facility would be huge. Um, and so sort of doing stuff like that, I think would allow Chicago to be a lot more competitive um, when it comes to free agents and getting um, top-notch players from around the country to choose Chicago to go to because Chicago has a better practice facility, because they have better trainers, because they have better uh, nu nutritional support. Like, there's a lot of stuff that goes into making a great team, and this is something that, you know, um, the New York Liberty definitely have. Um, uh, it's something that the Las Vegas Aces have, um, you know, and it's something that the Chicago Sky needs to to really be able to compete in the future in the WNBA. So as a fan, I think this would be great. I think this would be really, really awesome. Um, and, you know, Chicagoans love Dwayne Wade. And so having him invest in a team in Chicago, I think would just be great. Um, so we'll see what happens. But I got my fingers crossed that, uh, you know, Dwayne Wade decides to invest in the Chicago Sky. But anyway, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, in terms of uh, this reporting, I got all of this reporting from a story by Annie Costable of the Chicago Sun-Times. Uh, if you're interested in WNBA coverage, more specifically, if you're interested in Chicago Sky coverage, Annie is the number one person to go to. Um, she just knows a lot. She goes to all the, all the games. Uh, she goes to a lot of the practices. And so when you're looking for... A knowledge about what's going on with the Chicago Sky, you know, Annie's the person to go to. So if you're interested, uh, follow her on social media and also subscribe to the Chicago Sun Times. Uh, it's free, by the way. It's free if you want to just read all the stories online. 
Um, unlike other papers around the country, there is no paywall for the Chicago for uh, the Chicago Sun Times. Uh, there is an email wall. So just give your email, and you'll be able to read all the awesome Chicago Sky articles for free forever. Of course, you know Chicago uh, Sun Times is a nonprofit. So if you want to donate, you know you can donate, but you can you can read everything for free, which is really really awesome. Um, and yeah. That, that's it. Uh, just shout out to her for the coverage because I read that and now I'm able to share with you what I know. All right, guys, let me know what you all think about this entire situation. Uh, is Dwayne Wade going to invest in, in the Chicago sky? Uh, what do you think this means for the franchise to get another investor on board? Um, yeah, just let me know. What do y'all, what do y'all think about this? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Uh, and you know, if, Utah had a uh, WNBA team. Do you think uh, Dwayne Wade would just invest there? It seems like he's he's trying to do something with with Utah in terms of his investment. Uh, you know, there are some other uh, Utah teams out there, so you know we'll kind of see how Dwayne Wade's uh, investment strategy continues to go. So that's the video, guys. Thank you so much for watching this. Uh, if you like this video, please like it. Um, if you loved it, please subscribe to this channel if you want more women's basketball coverage. Um, I am trying to, you know, talk about, talk a little bit about everything that's happening in the world of women's basketball of all levels. Um, all right, guys, that's enough rambling for me. Uh, until next time, guys. Bye.